Drew Brees is a shoe in to reach the Pro Football Hall of Fame when he retires. When all is said and done, he could even be the NFL's all-time leader in passing yards and touchdowns. Brees is often overlooked when it comes to the best quarterbacks in NFL history, but we don't want you to overlook his remarkable journey to the NFL. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we take a look at 20 facts you probably didn't know about Drew Brees. Number 20 Athletes Are In The Family We inherit genes and characteristics from our family members, and the case was special for Brees. His father, Eugene Wilson, played basketball at Texas A&M. His mother, Mina Ruth, was a star high school athlete. His uncle, Marty Akins, was a star quarterback for the Texas Longhorns. His grandfather was a successful Texas high school football coach, and his brother played on Baylor's baseball team. Okay, now we're done naming his family's athletic success. Number 19, football comes late. Breeze is used to getting hit by 350-pound guys today, but he didn't play contact football until he was in high school. Breeze was also a star in flag football. A star in many sports, Breeze was considering college baseball over football. But the scouts went hard after him and convinced him to go into football. Number 18, and he overcame adversity. Breeze tore his ACL in the 11th grade, an injury that can sometimes end one's dreams of being a pro. All he did the following year was lead Westlake High School to a Texas State Championship. Number 17, school success. Breeze wasn't just your typical college quarterback. He also took his studies seriously and finished with a degree in industrial management at Purdue. Number 16, Roger that. Breeze is close friends with Dallas Cowboys icon Roger Staubach, who led the team to a pair of Super Bowl wins in the 70s. Breeze would stay in contact with him during his years at Purdue. Number 15, no cheese for you. Many athletes live off of cheese, milk, and other dairy products for protein and to stay strong. However, Breeze and his wife, Brittany, are both allergic to dairy products. Breeze has since been a mentor to children who are allergic to dairy items. Number 14, Archie and Breeze Head. Speaking of having legendary friends, Breeze has a close relationship with Archie Manning, the father of Peyton and Eli Manning, who was also the Saints quarterback from 1971 to 1982. These two men worked closely together to help New Orleans overcome the devastation of Hurricane Katrina after Breeze joined the Saints in 2006. Number 13, Political Ties. The 44th President of the United States, President Barack Obama, is high on Breeze, appointing him to a chair for his Council on Fitness, Sports, and Nutrition. This has Breeze promoting the good health effects of sports for young children across the country. Number 12, he was passed over twice. Breeze wasn't taken until 32nd overall in the 2001 NFL Draft by the San Diego Chargers. Scouts were concerned about his six-foot stature, which is short compared to most NFL quarterbacks. They also had concerns about his injury past and struggles in college. Well, the Chargers made every other team pay. Then, when Breeze became a free agent in 2006, many teams were worried about a shoulder injury he had just sustained. The sweepstakes came down to Miami and New Orleans, but his shoulder scared the Dolphins away. The rest is history. Number 11, Peyton and Tom who? From 2006 to 15, Breeze was the only NFL quarterback to toss for at least 4,000 passing yards and 30 touchdowns in each of those seasons, and this is on a mainly mediocre Saints team. Number 10, Once Upon a Midnight Dreary. Breeze has beaten 31 NFL teams, including the only two teams he has played for. However, the Baltimore Ravens are the one team he's yet to beat. If we can refer to Edgar Allan Poe's poem, Breeze has beaten 31 teams, but not the Ravens, only this and never more. Number 9, A Numbers Game. Breeze wears the number 9 for a special reason, in honor of his idol, Boston Red Sox icon, Ted Williams. Number 8, It's Breezing in Here. Breeze has earned a pair of unique nicknames in his NFL career. Saints fans often call him Breezes for obvious reasons. He earned the nickname of Cool Breeze at a young age for supposedly staying calm in high-pressure situations and games. Number 7, Book of Breeze. Breeze isn't just an author of NFL records, he also writes books. He wrote a story about his life titled Coming Back Stronger, Unleashing the Hidden Power of Adversity. It became a New York Times bestseller too. Number 6, Struggles with His Mother. Though this is depressing to read, Breeze and his mother had a rough relationship. Apparently, she was bothered by him not hiring her to be his agent. Breeze didn't speak to her much for the final years of her life. She passed in 2009 from a reported suicide. Number 5. Family Man Breeze met his wife, Brittany, at Purdue. They have three sons and a daughter. In a touching moment, Breeze brought his son, Balin, on the field after the Saints won Super Bowl 44. Number 4. Charity Man we could write a book series about all the incredible acts Breeze has done on and off the field. After his wife's aunt passed of breast cancer, Drew and Brittany created the Breeze Dream Foundation to help cancer patients. The two also worked actively in helping rebuild the city of New Orleans by building programs to educate kids and fixing up parks, schools, and other structures. In 2010, he also spoke out against bullying of gays in an effort to stop bullying. Number 3. The Breeze Book of World Records 
Breeze holds a number of records that Joe Montana, Tom Brady, and Peyton Manning can touch. Most consecutive 4,000-yard seasons, 10. Best completion percentage in one season, 71.2. Most completed passes in a season, 468. 54 consecutive games without a touchdown pass, a record previously held by Johnny Unitas, which NFL Network ranked the second most unbreakable NFL record, and most 300-yard and 400-yard games, with 104 and 15 respectively. Number 2. Religion Help Breeze became a Christian at age 17, saying that he needed God's love and guidance to help him overcome his torn ACL, emotions of being passed over in the first round of the 2001 draft, and going through a torn shoulder injury in his career. And number one, Crocodile Breezy. You'd think that being a professional athlete who is worth millions and a husband and father of four, one would try to avoid danger at all costs, not Breeze. This man loves crocodile hunting. On an episode of Running Wild with Bear Grylls, Breeze caught, killed, and ate a crocodile for dinner. Safe to say, Saints fans and Breeze's family surely got scared watching it. What other NFL players should we do facts on? Join us in the comments below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, Clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.